Hi, my name is Jen Smith. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you a delicious cranberry sauce recipe. Let's get right into it. So the ingredients that you're going to need are one and a half cups of chopped Granny Smith apples. Make sure you peel the skins off. One cup of packed brown sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of ground ginger, a half a cup of white grape juice, and one 12 ounce package of cranberries. This is half a cup of white, this is half a cup of white this is half a cup of white You need a medium saucepan, and remember when you're making this, cranberries splash and they stain. So wear something that you don't care to get ruined, or maybe wear an apron. I'm wearing this cranberry colored shirt because I don't want to get it ruined. Dump all of your ingredients into your saucepan. The apples, make sure you chop your apples, peel them, and core them. This is always hard to get out. Oh, got it. Okay, dump the cranberries right in. Actually, I wonder if these are clean. Wash and rinse before using. Oh. Dump in your cranberries. Make sure they're washed and rinsed off. Just stir it up a little bit. You're gonna bring it to a boil on the stove top. You're gonna bring this to a boil. Once it's boiling, you're gonna reduce the heat and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Make sure you're stirring it occasionally while it's simmering. And you can take the side of the wooden spoon, you can kind of like pop some of the cranberries. You don't have to pop all of them. It's okay if they're not popped because they should pop on their own, but if they don't, you can kind of smush them a little. Now that it's simmered enough, it's nice and thick. This is the consistency you want it to be. So pull it off to the side. You're gonna let it cool completely. The cranberry sauce has cooled. You can serve it warm if you want. Just make sure that it cools down enough that it's thick enough. I'm gonna pour it into the serving dish. I have a couple little garnishes. You can do this if you want to. When I peeled the apples, I kept some of the skin and I made it into small, thin little strips so you can decoratively put it on the top if you want. These are a couple uncooked cranberries that I sprinkled sugar on top. Mm. All right, so. Mm, so good. Again, if you make this recipe, please send me photos. I would love to see them. Keep your eye out for the Thanksgiving playlist because there's a few other videos that I made with different recipes. And I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Because there's a whole bunch of other videos that I made. <laughs> <laughs>